Alpha Zero Lima Zulu, Mota Alpha Zero London Zebra, over and over. So we're looking at the difference on six meters here between a, a Diamond V2000 Canadian and, uh, and the Western HF10. Look at this. Western HF10, tuned in with the ATU V2000. It's about a, a 5S point uh, difference. So signal zero. You can give them a sig signal one. Signal 5, 6, look at that. So it's not just the an antenna at play here. There's, uh, the, the runs are about the same, uh, but on the V2000, I'm using Echoflex 10, so low loss. And on the Western HF 10, uh, I'm using RG58. Western HF 10, V2000. And stopped. V2000, HF10. That's quite a big difference. You have not used this uh, this antenna switch before, and I, I wanted to compare the differences between the two. And I've only really been able to go on, you know, <laughs> on plugging the antenna out the back of the, uh, the back of the 7300 and plugging the new one in. It's not a like for like test, but, but this is a bit more, uh, a bit more realistic. V2000, Western HF10. And this is with the preamp on it too. So, still readable with the Western HF10, but it's not strong. But you will notice there's, there's a bit more noise with the vertical when that comes on. You get a noise floor of about S1 to S2. Whereas that obviously goes with the, uh, the Western HF10. Vertical versus a, a G5RV, I guess. Anyway, 73 for now is just an interesting test on 6 metres. From Mike Zero, Juliet, Charlie, Quebec.